Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and here uh, you can see I'm calibrating the compass that's built in to my phone, the compass app. And uh, so what my problem is, is the uh, what they call the aircraft orientation display down at the bottom of the screen. Um, there's been people that have had confusion, uh, how, how come that doesn't work and how come it does? And so after calibrating my phone, I thought I'm going to see if that makes a difference and makes it work. And uh, so it looks like it is working. Um, and uh, in my last video, it didn't when I was at the wash. And then in my VFR, IFR video, it didn't work. And what it's supposed to do, it doesn't show distance. It shows the relative uh, position between the drone and the antennas. Now I'm going to move my body back and forth which changes the direction of the antennas and you can see how that affects the uh, the orientation and once again that doesn't show distance it just shows the uh, the relative uh, orientation <clears throat> and what I did was I decided I'd stand like 10 feet away from where I took off to make sure make sure that I gave the uh, the computer and the all the the magnetic stuff I uh, give it a chance to, to be separated from where I was. And so that's why I was uh, standing way off, uh, way back. And uh, so when I, as you can see, I have turned my body to align with the drone as it was going uh, different, you know, down the road a little ways. In fact, I still got my body turned a little bit. So it's coming into land and uh, that was testing when I stood like 10 feet away. And uh, so now I'm going to land. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up closer to the, uh, to the drone and see if it makes any difference uh, whether I'm close or far away. The one thing I noticed previously is for best results, you have to have the drone facing away from wherever you are. And then you have to be facing the drone, standing behind it. So uh, that's uh, what you'll see here. That's what you, what I just demonstrated. Now here I'm standing behind the. Uh, actually, I'm not standing behind the drone. I'm standing with it facing me. So I'm just checking out to see if uh, if that makes any difference. Which we're going to discover that it really doesn't make any difference if you calibrate your compass on your phone before you ever begin. So uh, the drone is turning around. Now I've got to switch my body sideways a little bit to get lined up with the, with the drone. And so there I move my body and now he's centered. And the, that means the antennas are aiming right at the drone. Okay, so it gets a little bit off to the side there, but that's okay. And uh, then you'll see as uh, it goes around the corner, now we're looking at the side of the drone because it's turning around and uh, it's coming back the other way. So it doesn't matter whether we're uh, standing close or far away, whether it's turned one way or the other, if our compass on our phone is calibrated, it seems to make a big difference. And so <clears throat> standing close works the same as standing uh, far away. So uh, what I did was, I gotta tell you, before this ever happened, I came out in the morning with my tablet and uh, tried the same thing several times and had absolutely no results and it was a little bit discouraging. So after thinking about it for a couple of hours, I decided, hey, why not download an app, a Compass app, onto my tablet? And so this, is, this app is for, app, uh, for Apple uh, iPads and it's, uh, it's called Compass X. And so I, uh, I downloaded that and I put it on my tablet and I did all kinds of things like trying to uh, move the tablet around and calibrate it. And as you can see down below, the, uh, the, <laughs> the, um, the aircraft orientation display is not, doesn't seem to be working right. The, the drone's facing the wrong direction. But I kept playing with it and playing with it. And I got to thinking maybe there's too much magnetic uh, interference for the, for the tablet. So I'll put the tablet up a little ways and uh, see how it works. So then once I got it up, like I think it's 15 feet or so, then I started uh, turning the tablet around, turning my body around, swinging every which direction as you can see, 
uh, as uh, it goes back and forth there. And eventually, I don't know, I can't explain it, but eventually it's as if the compass uh, that I had downloaded finally got uh, calibrated. And as you can see, uh, it's working right. Now, I had to leave it running while I was doing this. So the, the, uh, the compass, you know, you can probably uh, tell it to, uh, to, to remain running in the background, but that just burns down the battery. So I told him I just wanted to, you know, you answer the questions. I, said, I just wanted to use it while I'm flying. And so, uh, as you can see, I'm facing the drone as it's uh, moving and not perfectly facing it, but anyway, and then it's, it's showing me its orientation. And the purpose of this uh, uh, little orientation uh, display is because when it gets out of sight, uh, it's really kind of hard to see which way it's going. You can't tell. But if you have that calibrated and have it working right, uh, you can tell whether it's coming or going, and you, uh, you can get your antennas aimed directly at it. It's a real help. So anyway, uh, I think maybe I got it figured out for my tablet, and I hope you have the same success. Um, if you're trying to use your tablet or if you're using your phone, be sure to calibrate the compass before you start. All right, that's it. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless.